the idea of God we have, or we had even when we were small children, is that this is an old man with a long beard and with a white hair. Welcome to this Sunday's homily, and we are celebrating the Feast of Transfiguration of our Lord Jesus Christ. The idea of God we have, or we had even when we were small children, is that this is an old man with a long beard and with a white hair. And this is what somehow we are seeing in the book of Daniel. We are seeing a God who is being pictured as a wise person, as a judge, as somebody in glory, somebody in power. In that same, same vision, there is the Son of Man, whom we can refer to Jesus Christ, who is also sharing in the glory of his Father and in his kingship. He is a king whose reign will have no end. Nobody can destroy this kingdom. In the second letter of St. Peter, we see the aspect of ownership of the Son by the Father. When Peter is describing the events of transfiguration, this is my beloved Son, the one whom I'm well pleased with. Listen to him. Many of us deny ownership. Many of us deny the children whom we have side. We deny our spouses. We deny our friends. We deny many people who come into our lives. We deny the challenges we have. We deny our mistakes. We deny our sins. Sometimes even we deny our own friends. We don't cease to be children of God when we are in situations which are contrary to the love of God. We don't cease to be children of God when we are sinful. God still says, this is my beloved son. This is my beloved daughter. God loves us. He is pleased with us as his children, but he is displeased with our sinfulness, with our evil way of life. But that does not mean that God disowns us. We are called to disown our sinfulness. We are called to transform, to transfigure our lives into that glory of God the Father. In the Gospel, we have the transfiguration witnesses, the three apostles. And Jesus is showing us the importance of inner circle. We have friends who are in our inner circle. We cannot miss them. We cannot lack them in our life. Those confidence, those with whom we can share our secrets, our deep thoughts, they are important in our life. They see, they know some of our secrets, the mysteries, sometimes we reveal to them. The episode of Transfiguration on the Holy Mountain, where I happen to have gone physically during my pilgrimage, is an episode which brings the gap between the old and the young, the old and the new. And in this moment, especially when the Holy Father is having the World Youth Day with the youth, I'm sure it is an important moment whereby the youths, the young people who are the church of now, can learn something from the senior, the old, the elderly. And our past has something to help us in our presence, in our present life, and even improve our future. Moses and Elijah and Jesus represent all this and the apostles. In moments when we need strength for our mission, we need to see the vision 
of glorious moments in life. We need to visualize what is the end. And this is exactly what Christ is visualizing on the mountain. That glory to come despite the challenges which he has to undergo. God strengthened Jesus Christ in his imminent suffering and death through this event. God wasn't abandoning Jesus as his son who was born through the incarnation, who came to us through incarnation. God is not abandoning Jesus during his suffering moment. He owns, he loves him. He makes him known to us, especially by that, by that voice coming down. This is my son, my beloved, whom I am well pleased with. Jesus is convinced that he is loved by the Father. The three tense mentioned by Peter could be tense of comfort zone whereby we do not want to, to get out of our comfort zones. We are satisfied with the joys, with the happiness, with the glory we encounter in life. At the same time, it can mean, they can mean that we are at home with this new form of life, with this glorious life, with this happiness and so forth. But we have still to continue with our journey before the glory comes. Rise and do not be afraid. That is what Jesus told the three apostles after they were afraid hearing the voice coming from heaven. Let us not be afraid also when God continues to confirm us that we are his children. Let us also learn to own our God. Let us learn to tell God, God, you are my beloved father with whom I am well pleased. I will listen to you. Have a blessed Sunday.